Hello guys, uh, welcome back. I'm thrilled to have you here for another exciting video. In this video, I would like to share about the Projection Master, which helps us achieving the Projection 1 3D model onto the other, which gives us the surface relief. Not only that, it gives the poly painting projection also. So why let, let's get started. So let's have a look on the Projection Master. Projection Master uh, can be seen here in the Z plugin. And you could see that Projection Master here. So if you switch to different layout buttons, you could also find that here. Uh, I can press Shift G to access that. But before going into that, I just go to the Polysphere and take a plane. Okay, or just tool here and then just take a plane. Just click and drag and then press T. Now what I'm going to do is, um, I will just uh, make Polymesh 3D with that. And then press Ctrl D a few times so that I get small polygons on top of it. Uh, now I would like to go to the Z plugin and then choose Projection Master. So here uh, in this you have drop now button uh, which is allow, which will allow me to drop the details on uh, the plane. What kind of details I can drop here? One is the color, uh, one is the shaded and the one is the material. And uh, you also have double sided and also you have the deformation and then that's uh, on the double sided here. Uh, so uh, you have a lot of options. We'll just try to explore those uh, options uh, real quick. But uh, right now I'll just go to the deformation and then choose drop now. Now here uh, I've got the star, uh, which is uh, one of the model here uh, in the, you know, the 3D meshes. It's it's a polymesh 3D. But when I when I was uh, earlier before the projection master, I was in 3D viewport. So when I pick the drop now button, it went into the pixels, which is the canvas mode. So I can just click and drag, and then you should be able to see uh, the star. And when I'm I'm just holding Alt, I could see um, the star is actually doing the negative. And then once uh, whatever you have picked up there, we can go to the Z plugin, uh, Projection Master, and then pick up now. We'll give that deformation onto the plane. So it's it's generally, I'm using any model and then just proje projecting on top of that there. Okay, uh, so let me just take a sphere and then I'll go to the color. Um, and also I just uh, pick a simple reflected plastic and then go to the color and then uh, pick the white color and then uh, fill that object so that fills the white color with this uh, plastic uh, material now i just take the red color and start painting uh, details on top of it so i just keep it uh, simple nothing complicating here so i'll just go back uh, to the polyplane okay so there's already some details here so press shift to g and then it brings up the projection master and then i'm going to choose the color and also i'll choose the material now when I say drop now, uh, it's telling whether you want to activate uh, the uh, texturing or you want to activate the poly painting. So I just uh, enable that uh, poly painting feature and then just click and drag there. Uh, this model what we have picked can be moved anywhere. Okay. And then we have the scale tool and then we have the rotate tool. So I can choose that. And now I press shift G. And then pick up now and that brings up that model and i should be able to see all my model has got a different material and this area is uh, having the toy plastic material with all the poly paints projected on top of it uh, so let me just take a sphere and uh, make it as a polymesh 3d press ctrl d several times um, let me just go to the light box first and then bring up this uh, maybe the face or the dog model okay so i got the dog model here press ctrl d and also I go to the color and then fill object. Now choose this and then paint it over here. So once that is done, I'll just go to the polyplane. Make sure that I'm on the front side and then keep it white. Now just make it polymesh 3D, press Ctrl D uh, so that I get uh, maximum polygons on top of it. So press Shift G to get the projection master. So you want the materials, you can enable that and then enable the deformation and then drop now and then you can activate the poly painting and then choose the dog and just click and drag it here uh, while i'm dragging i'm just holding to snap it perfectly so i rotate this and then i get the model rotated there i can move that uh, when i'm moving it it's it's sort of flipping up and then so you could able to see i've got this model here so press shift g and then pick up now and that brings up that projection here so the object is really turning dark. So let me try shift G and then switch off the shaded option here. 
and then go to the drop now and then choose the dog i'm just holding shift so that it is orthographic correct and then rotate it with the rotate tool you can hold alt for the negative rotation once that is done you can press shift g and then pick up now and you should be able to see that darkness is not seen here as a dog model's leg is on this side so you got some deformation but you got the negative scalp sculpting when i pick the alt button there so projection master generally helps you to project things onto the model there okay so shift g again and you should be able to see there is a normalized and deformation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick a spear there okay so make sure that it is white polymesh 3d press ctrl d and then press shift g and then go to the deformation and then choose the double sided so normalized option is like uh, when it is off it's directly projected from the poly paint a uh, poly from the camera point of view but when i choose the normal all the vertex points will go out in their own normal direction in the local z axis of every vertex okay so i'll just uh, keep that on or i can keep that off and then pick and then um take the dog model again just click hold shift and then rotate it and then shift to g and then when i say pick up now so you should be able to see that projection has came and you should be able to see that all the vertex points were going straight in the direction in which the camera was there so i press shift to g here and then uh, a drop now and then i pick uh, the star here I just click and drag okay and once that is done i press shift to g and then pick up now and you should be able to see those uh, vertex points are going outside in the normal direction there to conclude i would like to say that projection master can be used uh, to get surface relief effects on 3d models and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you found it helpful and insightful don't forget to hit the like button to show your support and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this your support means the world to me and helps me creating valuable content for you also feel free to leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts feedbacks or any questions you may have thank you very much okay